Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Welcome to episode 23 of our Southampton career mode here on FIFA 21. In today's episode, we have two tough games at home to Arsenal and then away at Liverpool. Four games remaining for us and Arsenal and three left for Chelsea and Leicester. Three points separate the four sides, so it is very, very close. We could still finish in fifth, but I don't think that's going to happen. So like I said in the last episode, whether we finish in sixth, seventh, eighth or ninth, I'm pretty happy. We're finishing in the top half of the table and we're in the FA Cup final. So overall, a pretty good season. Liverpool are in third on 71 points. At one stage, they were well in the title race. Now, they're well out of it. 13 points behind the league leaders, Man City, who probably will be crowned champions in today's episode. In the last video, we knocked Arsenal out of the FA Cup at the semi-final stage. So they were very, very close to the final. So they are definitely going to want some revenge. Last two league games, been defeats. 1-0 against Sheffield United and 3-1 versus Manchester United. So let's see if we can bounce back, pick up the win against Arsenal and move on to 57 points. Che Adams on the ball, left hand side is Nathan Redmond and it's a beautiful pass, Nathan Redmond, what a save from Leno, 17 minutes gone, that should be 1-0, Che Adams with a perfect pass, but Redmond can't beat Leno, corner kick, Redmond whips it in, it's going straight to Vestergaard, no it's not, it was Che Adams and it was a poor header. And a simple save for the keeper. And it remains nil-nil. And I don't know how. We should be in the lead. Mesut Ozil on the ball. Right-hand side is Hector Bellerin. Now Bamiang and his brilliant play from the striker. Now Pepe. Advantage to Arsenal. Brilliant play from the winger. Bamiang 1-0 Arsenal after 22 minutes. First attack for the away side. And it's the opening goal of the game. Very, very good finish from the Arsenal striker. Pepe here completely done me. Beautiful footwork. And four star, no chance. It's a composed finish from Aubameyang for his 11th Premier League goal of the season. We trail by a goal to nil after 21 minutes after the last 5 to 10 minutes or so being the much better side. So hopefully we can respond pretty quick. Ryan Bertrand on the ball. Forward to Oxlade-Chamberlain. Now Nathan Redmond. Che Adams. Redmond once again. Now Theo Walcott. Forward to Che Adams. This is very good play. Back into Theo. What a pass surely for 1-1. One, one. Theo Walcott. Goal kick. Why is he shooting with his left? I mean, the ball was set on his left foot, wasn't it? I was trying to get it onto his right, just to curl it past Leno for 1-1. One, one, but it didn't work out. Oh my god, that should be 1-1. One, one. Aubameyang on the ball for Arsenal. Into Mesut Ozil. Aubameyang once again. Willian, this is decent play from Arsenal. Willian plays it through to the goal scorer. Now Ozil, and thankfully Vestergaard gets in the way. And we break up the attack. Ooh, that was so close to being 2-0 to Arsenal. With 10 minutes left to play of the first half. Ryan Bertrand, forward to Oxlade-Chamberlain. Now Nathan Redmond, Che Adams. Oxlade-Chamberlain once again. And he's done very well to keep possession for us. Sriracha, forward to Theo Walcott. Now Che Adams, this is decent play. Can we find Nathan Redmond? Ooh, David Luiz with a very, very important interception. That was so close to being a perfect pass. Brilliant defending from the Arsenal centre-back. Pepe on this right-hand side. He's got three players in the box to aim for. Is he going to try and find one of them? It's a free kick. Really? Okay. 
I thought that was a good tackle. Aubameyang whips it in and Twanzebe gets it away only as far as David Luiz. Now Mesut Ozil, it's a decent turn on to his right foot from the German and he's still going. Now Pepe and it's a fantastic block from Ryan Bertrand. Seconds before the break, Arsenal upping the pressure to grab that second goal. Mesut Ozil, is he going to whip it across? It's very good play from the midfielder. Plays it short into Aubameyang and again a very good block. Kieran Tierney into Pepe and again a Southampton man in the way. Brilliant defending to end the first 45 minutes. Can we end it with the equalising goal? Che Adams, left-hand side is Nathan Redmond. Forward to Theo. And somehow, he's going to keep possession for us. Right. Is there time for one last chance in this half? Nope. There should be the half-time whistle. 1-0 to Arsenal at the break. Pepe on this right-hand side for Arsenal. Very good at start to the second half from the away team. Now Mesut Ozil, and it's a very good tackle from Romeo. He has been absolutely brilliant for us all season long. He's broken up so many attacks. I would love to know exactly how many attacks he's broken up for us. It's going to be so, so many. Theo Walcott into Che Adams. Now Oxlade-Chamberlain, Nathan Redmond, Ryan Bertrand on this left-hand side. Look at the space for the fullback. Ryan Bertrand with the shot. Leono pulls off a very good save to keep his side in the lead. Willian on this right-hand side for Arsenal. Oh, it's very good play from the winger. What a block from Vestergaard. If Vestergaard didn't get in the way there, that was going straight to Aubameyang for 2-0 and game over. Corner kick for Arsenal. Mesut Ozil. Advantage? For what? For what? Seriously? Willian plays it backwards to Hector Bellerin. I'm going to make some subs in a moment. I think I'll do it now. Let's see who's playing badly because no one's really stood out in this game, to be honest. 6.3 Theo, 6.9 Che Adams and 6.7 Sriracha. I'm going to make a triple sub. Che Adams off for Danny Ings. Idwar on for Theo Walcott and Sriracha off for James Ward-Prowse. Let's hope that triple sub can be the difference we need especially in the final third defensively we've been pretty decent but going forward not been that great and that is a fantastic pass into Ginter look at the space for Kieran Tierney is he gonna shoot he's run straight through my defense and thankfully Forster pulls off a very good save I don't know what I was doing there I just let him run through my defense and didn't make a tackle oh god I need to up my game in these last 25 minutes. Danny Ings on the ball. Out to this left-hand side in Ryan Bertrand. And it's a very good pass. Can we find Ings once again? We can't. We can find Oxlade Chamberlain. Now Danny Ings to his right-hand side is James Ward-Prowse. Surely for 1-1. One, one. James Ward-Prowse. Oh, what a save from Leno. It falls to Idwa. And Bender gets in the way. 15 minutes left to play. And we are still a goal behind. And they're bringing off Aubameyang. Wow. Corner kick. Redmond whips it in. Is it going to fall to a red shirt? Yes, it does. And Chamberlain. Now James Ward-Prowse. And the shot gets blocked. Ward-Prowse into Romeo. Straight at Leno for a simple save. And it remains 1-0 to Arsenal with just over 10 minutes left to play. 87 minutes played. We get a corner. Short into Oxlade-Chamberlain. Now Vestergaard into Idwar. Now Romeo, Idwar once again. That's a decent first touch. There's just no space. Idwar, Twanzebe, forward to Danny Ings. To his right-hand side is Oxlade-Chamberlain. Beautiful turn. Oh, Leno pulls off an incredible save. How has he done that? And the attack is not over. It falls here to Romeo. Now Danny Ings. Okay, it's James Ward-Prowse. Sorry, Idwar. Ward-Prowse once again into Oxlade-Chamberlain. Now Nathan Redmond, and it's a decent first touch from the winger. He's done very well to keep possession for us. Nathan Redmond! Straight at Leno for a simple save. And that's game over. The full-time whistle has been blown here at the St. Mary Stadium, and somehow we've lost. Arsenal were okay, but we had the better chances and could have easily won this match. Leno made some really good saves, especially that last one. I thought it was going in, but somehow he got down low and made a save. So Arsenal got their revenge after we knocked him out of the FA Cup by getting all three points with a 1-0 victory.
three minutes played. Liverpool get the first corner of the game. They play it short into Thiago, and it's very good play from the midfielder. Now Sadio Mane, decent run from the winger. Milinkovic, Savic, Sadio Mane once again, and Liverpool take the lead very early on in this game. Poor, poor defending. Sadio Mane, all on his own look. No one near him. And it's a very good finish from the Liverpool man for his 16th Premier League goal of the season. Liverpool 1, Southampton 0. We trail here at Anfield very early on. Not looking good recently in the Premier League. We've lost three league games in a row. And we're on course, even though there's still a long way to go, we're on course for four league defeats in a row. Danny Ings on the ball, backwards to Siracho. Now Romeo forward to Theo Walcott. Now Danny Ings with the first time strike. And it's a very good save from Allison. 12 minutes gone, and it's been a very good response from us. We get our first corner of the game. Redmond whips it in, and it's a decent delivery. But the Liverpool man does get it away. And Siracho is going to pick up the loose ball. Going to try and find Romeo, who's in quite a bit of space here. Forward to Danny Ings, and it's a beautiful first touch from the striker who lashes it towards goal. But once again, Allison denies Danny Ings. It was brilliant play there from Danny Ings. And what a save. Absolutely incredible from the Liverpool number one. Corner kick once again. Redmond whips it in. It's going straight to a Southampton man. Oh, Mane, what are you doing there, son? And Roberto Firmino does well to hoof it up the field and get the danger away. Oh my god, if there wasn't a Liverpool man on the line, I think that might have been going in from Sadio Mane's pass. But 18 minutes gone, yeah, it's been a very good response from us after conceding the opening goal. Savic on the ball for Liverpool, plays it forward to Fabinho. Ah, oh, lovely play from the midfielder. Now Mohamed Salah forward to Roberto Firmino and it's a big save from Forster to keep the score at 1-0. Oh, what a save. Brilliant play from Liverpool once again. And look at that for a pass into Danny Ings. Can we find Nathan Redmond over the top? Yes, we can. It's a fantastic pass from the striker. Nathan Redmond into Ryan Bertrand. Now Danny Ings. Oh, what a tackle. I was about to strike it with Danny Ings, but the Liverpool man just pipped it away from me. Twanzebe on the ball. Forward to Saracho. Now Theo Walcott into Oxlade-Chamberlain. Theo once again out to Walker Peters on this right hand side. Can we grab the equalising goal with this next attack? Walker Peters with the cross. And it's a goal kick. The header from Theo goes straight over the bar. But a dangerous start to the second half from us. So far, this second 45 has been all Southampton. Next goal, going to be very, very important. If Liverpool get it, I don't see myself getting back into the game. So hopefully, we can get the next goal. Roberto Firmino on the ball, plays it into Sadio Mane and it's a lovely header into the fullback who whips it across, Roberto Firmino with the header and what a save from Forster, I'm not sure if it was going in or not, perfect angle, I think it might have been, no, it was going in, I was about to say I think it was going wide but it wasn't, it was going towards that bottom corner, absolutely brilliant save to keep us in this match corner for Liverpool and you know what I'm going to make a sub as well I think I might bring on two players I think we're going to bring Theo and Oxlade Chamberlain off not having great games to be honest for Edouard and James Ward Prowse Trent on the ball for Liverpool plays it into Fabinho back out to this right hand side in Alexander Arnold is he going to whip in a cross is it short into Mohamed Salah? Now Fabinho. And somehow he's kept possession there. Brilliant play from the big midfielder. He's still in possession. And it's a good tackle. But they do keep it. And it falls here to Lacazette. Brilliant save from Forster. Once again to keep us in this game. With 20 minutes left to play. Oh, that's a very good save. It was kind of to his right a little bit. It wasn't straight at him. That is a brilliant save. And they're bringing on James Milner. The workhorse. 20 minutes left to play. Liverpool corner once again towards that near post. And are we going to keep it in? 
hope Virgil van Dijk does though and it's going to be a penalty for what what happened there then Liverpool have a brilliant chance to bury this game from the spots oh yeah that's a penalty was I controlling him I must have been oh my god Salah stepping up is he gonna make it 2-0 no he's not he's put it over the bar and it remains 1-0 to Liverpool oh what a poor pen I think I would have saved that anyway what a poor pen from Salah wasted opportunity to wrap up the three points and we are still in this match Lacazette on the ball for Liverpool plays it forward to Sadio Mane now Genie won Yaunum and it's going to be a free kick to Liverpool I've given away so many free kicks in this match and I have made my last change Che Adams coming on for Danny Ings 29 yards out is Salah going to shoot nope it's Alexander Arnold off the woodwork and it's a corner kick the keeper must have got a touch onto it did he touch it onto the woodwork because if he did that is an incredible save oh he does it's a save and I think it goes onto the woodwork and then out for a corner wow Forster has made some brilliant saves in this second half and thankfully doesn't have to make one there Sriracho on the ball can we break away from their corner and grab the equalising goal where is their defence Nathan Redmond surely not going to get caught can we make the score 1-1 what a run here from Nathan Redmond now short into Edouard bottom corner we've equalised with 10 minutes left to play here at Anfield oh what a finish from the striker brilliant run from Nathan Redmond as well and no one picked Edouard up all on his own and it is a very good finish on his left foot as well into that bottom corner Allison nowhere near it Ooh, 10 minutes left to play here at Anfield and this is anyone's for the taking is it going to end 1-1 are Liverpool going to pick up all three points or are we going to end our losing streak against Liverpool by picking up all three points Gini Wanyanam on the ball for Liverpool thankfully Twanzebe gets in the way here we go can we make the score 2-1 and take the lead for the first time here against Liverpool brilliant pass look at Edouard arriving at the far post can we pick him out yes we can bottom corner Edouard's come onto the pitch and saved the day it's 2-1 we've taken the lead for the first time here at Anfield delicious cross and what a finish side footed volley that is incredible oh my god that is a world class finish from Edouard and he has his 7th Premier League goal of the season he's come off the bench and put us in front James Milner on the ball for Liverpool now Savage out to Trent on this right hand side oh a heavy touch there but he does well to find Mohamed Salah now Trent once again is he going to whip and across with that dangerous right foot or is he going to play it short nope he's going to get tackled by James Ward-Prowse absolutely brilliant play from the midfielder now Nathan Redmond into Che Adams and thankfully we just about keep possession and can Edouard grab his hat-trick here we go being chased down by the Liverpool players but I don't think he's going to get caught oh off the post and there's six minutes added on what we've got the win here at Anfield thanks to two goals from Edouard who comes off the bench to save the day and end our losing streak in the league three games without a win and we end it with a huge victory against Liverpool Forster made some big saves in this game especially the second half so we do have him to thank for keeping us in this game while 1-0 down full-time result here Liverpool 1 Southampton 2 so with two games left to play we remain in ninth place two points behind Chelsea 
three behind Arsenal and six behind Leicester and Wolves who sit on 63 points. At the top, Man City are Premier League champions. They currently have 87 points with two games left to play. Man U in second on 82 points, Spurs in third on 77 points and Liverpool completing the top four on 74 points. At the bottom, Brighton have been relegated along with West Brom. Sheffield United are not yet down. They have a game in hand over the teams around them and they could finish on 32 points. Who's their game in hand? Oh, at home to Newcastle. That is a very good opportunity to pick up three points, move on to 29 points and bring it down to the final day of the season for that 18th spot between them and Burnley. Wow, that would be incredible. Next episode, we wrap up the Premier League campaign with two away games, Wolves and then Burnley. We could play a big part on who goes down, Burnley or Sheffield United. Holy smokes. That is going to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.